Just his bloody right. sticky beaking again. Bloody kid. Get a move on. on. They're on their way back. Come on, possum, pull your finger out. I got the call. They're in sight. Taking the boys bush for a couple of days. Mind looking after the place for us? Sure, it's no problem. Where are you off to? I'm on my way to work. Check this out. What is it? It's a light stick. When you bend it in half, it glows in the dark. What do you use it for? Oh, when you're out bushing that. Mandy, you've got jobs to do. I know. I'll see you later, darling. Bye, Mum. Bye-bye. Nah, you can keep it. Thanks, Dennis. What do that for? I don't know, man. You give them nothing except the dick, mate. That's all they want. Do we take a chance on here? Not until we know a bloody sight more about the relationship. They look pretty tight to me. Girlfriend, maybe. Blazer. No, it's not perfect. Make a good observation, Pastor. Yeah. If she can be trusted. Mm. I wouldn't like to risk it myself. If she yaps to them, we're stuffed. It's going to be a real shit fight. There. She's got a problem with them. Yeah, maybe. But it doesn't tell us much. It tells you she's got a young daughter and she doesn't like the smell coming from yeah, next door. Hey, check her out. See what you can do. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the little woman. Yeah. I remember being a dog, mate. Right, looks like we've got three targets. Nick Panopoulos, our old mate Dennis, and a third man. We'll have some BCI photos soon. But in the meantime, Mick, get your team out to the local stations with a face fit. See if they can ID him. He might have brought some attention to himself. Right, no copies. And don't leave yours behind. This is a very limited circulation. What about the posties? They use nobody. Well, you can let them cite it, but tell them nothing. All right. Fluff. Your team onto the electoral roll for 19 Wilton Street. Dewey, rates officers, telecom, let's get some names for these bastards. That's it. That's it. Peter. I think we should go out and back up the dogs. And what for? They got it covered? Bit of diplomacy won't hurt, Charm. It's big enough for us to show her. So why bark when you've got your own dog? You know what it's like? Sitting off someplace on your own for hours, freezing your bum off, busting for a shit, and no idea what for because no bastard ever tells you what it's about. I thought you said you missed it. Yeah, so did I. Edwards, senior detective. You want to listen now? We just had a Yeah, it's got to be all stopped. Vegan's on it. Wally. What are we going to do about the van? Dump. Or we'll drive. Bush bash. They've got no guts. We'll never outrun them in something like that. I need to, mate. I'll be off the beaten track. They'll never find us. Yeah, but you don't know Kate. Listen, like Nick. I... Don't argue with me. Long base, short base, what am I looking for? I'll check it out! 
What's happened then? Nothing. There's nothing. We're okay. They're just jerking off. You never hear the fucking majors on that toy anyway. What do you have to bloody argue with him for? They're going to come at us with everything they've got. Damn. Jesus Christ. It's Pat Miller. You sure? A little older, a little heavier. No, no, it's him. What do you have that much against us? Well, he used to be a good crook until we put him away for nine attempted murder. When did he get out? Oh, a couple of years ago, I think. There's not been a peep out of him since. What do you think? Well, the other two are in it. He'd be the ringleader. He always recruited at his little pack. <laughs> He's our third man. Got an idea on the neighbour, sir. Any luck, sir? Elaine Henderson, single mum, 13-year-old kid named Mandy. Part-time job, afternoon shift at the TAB, four days a week. Anything on her? Not a thing. Clean skin. Even plays it straight. Social security know all about the job. Number 17, next door on the left. Yeah. Oh, shit. What is it? Bloody kid, she's at it again. What's she doing? Nosing around. She's gonna get in the way. Hey, yeah, uh, what do you reckon about the mum? No, I'm not sure, but I get the feeling she's not all that keen on him. Spiky. Here, boy. The dog's got the eyeballs, sir. They think she's a good bet. She's as straight as they come. I can't see our targets being her kind of people. Mm, Pat Miller had con his way around anyone. Really? Well, they'd have to go with the dogs, sir. They're the closest to it. How much time are the soggies need? None, sir. We're ready to go whenever you want. But uh, if she has some reconnaissance time, we could use it. The dogs reckon they're heavily armed. Margaret, I'd hate to lose them. They've got hot possibilities. Mind you, we've had a few of them before. Megan, you make the approach. A woman will be less noticeable. Move in fast and don't tell her a bloody thing. Yes, sir. I want you fellas thoroughly prepared. We always ask. I want all three of them in our hands, alive and well. Well, that's our usual objective, providing it doesn't cost us a member or two, sir. If we lose one of our targets, the others will ride out in a dead man. Remember that. Double time for this. Snakes, will you stop listening to Pat and listen for me? Listen to me just this once, okay? He's when... the man who's supposed to be taking us. I'm the one that's driving you there. Yeah, you're gonna drive us in this thing? We're gonna dump this one and we're gonna get another one. Well, what are we gonna get then? What's gonna take us to Queensland? We're gonna use the part and put it on the new one. Box parts, there's no part you can come off this. Elaine Henderson? Yeah? Senior Detective Megan Edwards, Major Crime Squad. May I have a word with you? Not oh, yet. Yeah. May I come in? Sure. Why don't we just sell it like your car? Nah. I'll strip this one, use the rego and the certification plates, and put on the new one. What if he changes his mind? We're going, OK? It must be pretty serious. This is perfect, Elaine. We just need to keep an eye on their movements. It'd strictly be between you and us. They'd never know. What, what have they done? I can't say at this stage. We're looking at them for a number of offences. Are they uh, dangerous? Why do you say that? Is there anything that you're And I've got an ex-member of Telecom Investigations making some inquiries for us. Well, he's usually the name Foster. Patrick Arnold Foster. Van Rego's in that name, electricity, and so it's a fine. What about the rented house? Same name. Holy shit. Holy tamale. 
Settle down, Fluff. Detective Senior Sergeant Renford, this is Elaine Henderson. G'day. Elaine is going to let us set up an observation post in her home. Oh, great. Look, we really appreciate it. Look, it's come okay. on in. Uh, I'll just be a tick. We'll get your sandwich at that lunchtime. Is that our observation post? Yeah. Why the bloody hell did you bring her here? I think she could be a witness, sir. Right. Keep her out of the way and make sure she doesn't see anything. You sure you're not jumping the gun? No, sir. They moved in next door to her about four months ago and she hasn't missed a beat. She has been very observant. Have you been questioning her? No, I just encouraged her to talk. I don't want one word prompted out of her. Everything she utters that is suggested, or even put to her in a way that is suggesting it to her, is something we lose in court. I do you know that, sir? You know it here. I want you to know it in there, and not to get too eager and forget it. He had a fantastic little blue Celica one day. I would have killed for that one. God's got a white jag for me. He, he just hasn't delivered it yet. <laughs> Is he pinching those cars? What, what makes you think that? Oh, crossed my mind once or twice. Uh -huh. Is that what this is all about? Not specifically, but it might be a factor. Uh, I knew right from the beginning that I couldn't trust him. Especially Nick. He's a little creep. Is he? Dennis and him. Mm. <laughs> it's awful. Pat's all right though, isn't he? You know, the old one. He sent the other two in the other day to fix the taps, which was really fantastic of him. But um, it just didn't feel right having them in the house. Any particular reason? Mm. Oh, you know. If you walk into a room full of people, you can pick the sleeves in two minutes. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's right, yeah, blokes can't. Oh, they can't, can they? Oh, my hubby never could. His best friend was an arsehole. <laughs> Stand by, mate. I'll have a clear run in a minute. Nugget, they're heading your way. Oh, Fangio eat your heart out. Turning right in the Margarita. Blazo? Yeah, yeah. All clear. Oh. All right. Yes, it's bloody exposed. Don't they believe in trees around here? Yeah. Come, let's go in. Front left hand room, bedroom. Get your bricks. Side okay. window, we're getting better coverage. Watch the doorway. Jesus. Swing the cat. Ceiling's still about, still about 12 foot high. One side window. Very good access. Too small for entry. Excellent point to uh, gain entry. Goes into a dead end. No one can see you from here. Back from the side. Just a lot of tools and shit in there. Leaving a gate from the car park into the backyard. Major entry. Yellow brick road. Woof woof. Crime 305, they're not kidding about going bush. Yeah, well, for Christ's sake, Nugget, don't lose them. If you have to hook up to their bumper bar, don't lose them. Get stuck. Oh. <laughs> Megan wants you. Whatever it is you're doing, pubs that makes the shit, I want to take you home, mate. Get in and do it. How we doing? They're lining up their motor. Looks like they're going to try and push off soon. Boss? Mm. 
We've got a deadline coming up. Yeah. What colour was that? Mm, white. With um, one of those short aerials on the back. Mm -hmm. 91 Calais. Very good. You mentioned Fairlane earlier. I am sure about that one because I heard them talking about it. Right. Well, let's have a look at our forwards. See what we got. Yeah, that, that looks like one that they had a couple of months ago. What colour? Red. With those ritzy wheels. Falcon XD. I could use a coffee. How about you guys? Sounds fine to me. Thanks. Well, you're bloody observant. I'll give you that. Should be working for us. <laughs> She's done it. She's ID'd to say make, model, and colour as our bomb car. Laz, How strong is it? Uh, looks like the one they had a couple of months ago. Red XD with ritzy wheels. Good girl. Yeah. Now, look, if we're going to do an OP on a house, you'll have to watch your step. For Christ's sake, don't tip her off. But we have to tell her now. No way. You can't. If, she, if she's going to be stood up as a witness, she's got a right to know what's going on. We could be in there for a week. She'll give us away to her targets. How the hell would you know? You haven't even met her. She's OK. Even if she is, she'll behave differently with them. They'll pick up on her. Oh, come on. This woman's helping us. If she knew, she mightn't. You want me to somersault her? If you have to. Look what's at stake here if she takes fright. I'm not going to lie to her. I'm telling you, you will, if it comes to that. She's the wrong lady to handle this way. Nevertheless, you'll do it. Yes, sir. Didn't take her long to get the stock out of syndrome, did yeah. it? Yeah. Ten bucks says they cack it as well, huh? No, you'd win. Sergeant, I thought you'd be tooling up by now. Well, on standby, sir. Just a little something for Mr Cochran from Mount Recce. It's not microphoto quality, so it's impossible to compare the blade cuts. It's a sawn-off fence post, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I can see that. You see that splintering off on one edge? It'll give a good clean match. It's our house. I know. When do I get in? You go in with us, as soon as the Soggies have secured the place. When do we go? Next 24 hours. Just keep your pager with you. What's the hold-up? Why aren't we straight in? It helps to know that they're our people, Goose. Well, they are if they're in that house. Not necessarily. It's a rented premises. They've only been there for four months, so all this could just as easily belong to the previous tenants. Now, come on. You must have something to link the people. Maybe, but I want to have a clearer picture before we go charging in, and I'll need forensics set up to feed the interviews when we do. How do you mean? We've only got six hours. I'm after admissions. I want to confront them as soon as possible with the scale of case against them, particularly forensic. fighting around with the van for if he's going to ditch it. Don't know. It must be in the bloody laundry. I've got max volume here. Well, it's hard to get South Australia as well. Hang on. We're for Queensland, aren't we? Yeah, Queensland. We can't get through here, dickhead. Well, I don't remember asking you any more. <laughs> we're blocked off. What the fuck have we done that, eh? We've done that. I thought you might make a cup of tea. Thanks, sir. You don't have to worry about us, sir. We don't want to be any more trouble than we have to. I was making one for myself anyway. Uh, we'll put everything back the way it was before we go. I wish you wouldn't. It's not as messy as usual. <laughs> you know what kids are like. Yeah. Look, I don't want to hassle you or anything, but I, I mean, I've got my kid to think about, and we've got to go on living but here. No one is going to know about this. No, but if they ever found out, I don't even know what they've done. There's no way we just move out and leave you sitting here in the shit if there's any problem. <laughs> yeah, but what does that mean? It means you've got nothing to worry about, Elaine. Look, I'm sorry, I can't let you listen. It's only people nominated on the warrant. Yours, I didn't put it in the car, you did. Just, just start using your head, Dennis. You said everything would be fine and flattering. Jesus. Yeah, Tui. Yes, boss, eh? Peter. Right. 
good. They've made their first direct admission. Oh, what a feeling! That's it. We know who our bombers are. Hey, Dan, you got a sec? Piss off! Hey, how are you? Okay. What'd you do with the light stick? Oh, it's in my ring. Did you use it? Nah, I'm waiting till Michelle comes. Where's her? Are you watching this? Stand by, mate. Oh, shit. What's going on? It's the kid, she's with Dennis. Keep her in sight, Dico. Yeah, we have great fun. Watch movies. Oh, I've got some movies at home. You should come and see them. Have you? Great. We don't need this, mate. She's going to go in there. Is Elaine still here or is she at work? She'll twig if we get her to break it up. If that kid goes in there and gets into a strife, we'll have to go for it. Don't think I like that idea. How's your mum? Oh, she's okay. Always nagging, though. Yeah, just like Pat. Les. Yeah, here, mate. You, you want me to call the other dogs in? No, not yet. Stand by, mate. They are not equipped. Come home, Mandy. Come home. I reckon your mum and Pat would go well together. Do you? <laughs> what does your mum think of him? I don't know. Elaine? Elaine? Yeah? Can you come here, please? What? Listen, uh, Mandy's out there with Dennis. We don't think it's a very good situation. She doesn't know that you're here yet. No, no, no. We don't think it's a very good situation, OK? Here's bad news. Now, I want you to go out there, act normal, friendly, but find some excuse to get her away from them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you do that? She's coming out. She's going towards them. She's talking now. She's got the kid. The kid's coming. Give that lady a big tick, mate. She did that well. Take four recorded at 1625, 17 Wilton Street. Mum told me to come and get my things for tomorrow. You must be Mandy. Yeah. I'm Peter. This is Laz. Hi. Hi. Thanks for the lend of your room. Oh, that's OK. You went to new kids on the block? Yeah, they're great. <laughs> you got their new album? Not yet. Might get them for my birthday. How long will you be here for? Oh, well, not sure. Are they real handcuffs? Yep. Yeah. Wow, they're really heavy. Look, we'd rather you didn't tell anyone about this until it's over. I know. Mum said. Good. Is that a gun? Uh, yeah, but we're not allowed to let anyone else handle it. Oh. Can I get to the cupboard? Sure. Thanks. Dennis, aren't you? Oh, we're keeping an eye on everyone next door. Why? What's he done? They're suspects for a number of crimes. What? Like robbing banks and stuff? <sighs> Look, I can't say until we're sure, OK? You know you've got guns in there? Yeah? Yeah. Dennis showed me them. He said they go shooting ducks and kangaroos and things in the bush. Yeah, well, that's what most people use them for. But never seen them go one weekend since they've been here. The only time I saw him go off with a gun was when he took Spike. Who's Spike? His dog. You didn't tell me that they had guns. It's no big deal, Mum. Come on, darling, get your stuff and take it down into my room. You can put the tea on, all right? 
And don't go outside. I want to know what's going on. This is real serious, isn't it? It's nothing to worry about. You're perfectly safe, Elaine. But then how come I don't feel it? And what do you mean he's bad news? Well, she's only 13, and they're not the sort of people you want her hanging around. I know that. I've known that since they moved in. Look, it's OK, right? We're here, and we'll look after her and keep an eye out for her. I'm not going to go to work. You've got to be joking. Please, Elaine, you must keep up your normal routine. Look, anything different could be noticed. Look, we will look after her. So trust us. Yeah, well, that's not easy, is it? If you don't trust me. Jesus. All this bloody bullshit again. She is not stupid. She has already got this thing half worked out. She is shit scared with bloody good reason. I don't want to compromise things at this point. Yeah, just handle it, not Back it. off, Colin. You're not there. Now, these people have to be told. Sure you're not getting sucked in, mate? You've got to look down the track, Nod. The more she's told, the less she's going to stand up. She will not stand up as a witness at all if we bullshit her any further. Come on, come on. We are this close. You can't risk stubbing yeah. it up. And we were this close to the kid walking us and the dogs into a brick wall with no shotguns, no flak jackets, because they weren't warned. What did she do? Wag her tail at you. Well, shut your mouth, oh, Colin. Oh, you very big boy. I'm so fucking fucked. Come on, fellas, cut it out. Oh, you're it's 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 always have they cut it. Always will be. Always will be. You too. All right, all right, all right, all right. Discussion over. I don't like doing this, but I don't want to be forced through the door before I'm ready either. So give the woman the basic facts only. Get the kid out of it and get the whole matter back in hand. Shitheads. Funny how you can win the point when you're a bloke. Yeah, all right. Oh. Well, I just want you to get this for him. Oh, you big sooks. And you said that this wasn't dangerous. What a chuck. From the time we've known where they were, we've been around. You didn't know it, but you did have protection. Bombs. God, we saw that on television the night it happened. And they were right next door. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, we can't. Not until we know everything about you. You could have been Pat's girlfriend or sister for a while. Yeah, OK. But when you came and you knocked on the door, you must have known then. Why didn't you tell me then? No, no. Well, Elaine, you are going to be a very important witness for us. You've seen a lot of things. And we had to get all that before we could tell you anything. Otherwise, when we get into court, they'll say we put it into your head. I just don't understand why you don't... You, you just don't go on in and arrest them. Well, wouldn't we love it if the law made it that easy? Caridis. Yeah, OK. They want you back in there right away. All right. You'll be OK. Mm. New kids on the block. Every bloody word's to be taped. I don't want one single opportunity for defence to say we verbaled or used undue pressure. Watch how you put things, your tone of voice. Don't forget for one second the jury's going to be listening to it. You sound fair and friendly every step of the way. Sir, they're in the nest. Anyone loses their cool, gets out of the interview room immediately and hands over to someone else. Understood? Soggy's a traveller. OK, let's go. Pat, what are we waiting for now? Shut your mouth. We got it picked out. Why don't I just go and get it? 
when I'm ready. We could have been out here days ago, you know, if you'd stop farting around. Listen, do you want to do the thinking around here, eh? Bugger the thinking. You got just no idea, it. have you, Sonny? You think you know the Jacks? They turn you up in a bloody minute. Then, yeah, so where are they then? Waiting. Just waiting for a piss out like you to make the wrong move. They're nowhere, Pat. They're too busy stirring up their own asses. Don't you underestimate the Jacks, boy. -o. They just suck you right in. Who gives a shit? We'll shoot our way out. <laughs> you got the guts for it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just get fucking on with it. And do it! Okay? All stations, we've got one on the loose. Heading north in Wilton to Marguerite. Right indicator on. Nugget? Nugget, he's heading your way. So where are the soggies now? He's heading for the underpass, lane one. So where the hell's our team? Really John, no, it's you? Nick. The other two are still number. here. Sorry, Goose, could be a long, boring night for you. No, very interesting. I hadn't realised how disorganised it all was. It's quite exciting, really. Glad we're entertaining you. God in heaven, I can't believe this. Come on, don't desist to us. You copy that, Blazer? What a bunch of dickheads. Do you want to grab what we've got or wait and see? Wait and see. <sighs> How long does it take to pinch a bloody van? Maybe they sold it. Maybe he had to find another one. He drives like a bloody lunatic. If he's been picked up, I'll ring his You'll stupid be neck. Okay. I bet you he has a little prick. He let us know. Bullshit! I bet you he's doing the deal with the Jacks right now. I mean, I wouldn't put never, you know the talk. never. Oh, well, he better not have. Because anyone who breaks that code, they're dead meat. Get up. Get up! What for? Jam this against the front door. Jam this against the front door. They're not getting in here without a fight. Hey. They're blocking the front door, Blazer. They're stacking furniture in front of it. Mate, he's gone berserko in there. Glad it's him and not me. Yeah. Elaine? Yeah? Is the whole light off? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I hope that you might be a bit cold. Thanks. Are you okay? I've just been thinking about going to court. And? Well, what happens to us if they get off? What about that place in Carlisle Street? He went there a couple of times. Uh, we tried there, no sign of him. Just called past me. Where? Right down, Cruiser. Got the call. He's heading for home. You copy, Blazer? Gotcha. Let us know when the lights go out. Here he is, Pat. Nick's back. Told you he would be.
Uh, left hand down. in the middle of your back. No. Right hand in the With small of your back. Hand in the middle Do of not your move. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, Do not move. Stay still. Stay still. Fucking up. Stay still. Fucking up. Stay still. I'm safe. You okay? Yeah. Who fired the show? That little freak. <coughs> Come on in, boys. Goose, you got six hours starting now. Talking to Mr. Wallace. Carl, you look after Dennis, mate, all right? Get the police surgeon for Nick. Yeah, what happened to him? One of the soggies butt stroke down. Nasty. And get in there yourself. Plenty of consideration. I don't want to. No comment, then. No comment. Right. Comfortable, Louis? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Yeah, How are you feeling, Nick? Not too good, sir. Well, I've got the police surgeon coming. Can I get you something? Can I have something for my headache, sir? Oh, I don't know about that. Best to wait for the doctor, eh? Don't rip straight into him, Wild. Give it some time. Get a bit more forensic in. It'll be my pleasure. G'day, Pat. Long time no see. Prepared to make certain admissions, Mr. Wallace, as long as I get a guarantee. Oh, we can't give guarantees, Mr. Miller. That's up to DPP. You know that. They're off their heads, those two. And why'd you hook up with them? Well, I met them up at Bobby Tucker's place, you know. They've been involved in a few minor scrapes. I could sort of see myself in them, you know. See them going the way I did if someone didn't pull them up. And you thought you'd sort them out, eh? Well, you know, after nine years in the college, Mr. Wallace, you... Wouldn't wish that on anyone, would you? So, what did you do with them? Well, put a riff over the heads, try to get them thinking straight. Didn't do much good, did it? Oh, well, it's the drugs, Mr. Wallace, you know. They're all into it these days. Mm. Makes them crazy. Why don't you turf them out? Well, I'm scared to fucking death of them, that's why. It's your home, isn't it? You're the one paying the rent. Yeah, but you don't know those two. You don't know what they're like. Well, what sort of things they get up to? Oh, aggros, a couple of armor holes, that's the I know. So they would have been bringing a bit of money into the house then? Oh, nothing that you wrote home about, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> Spend it all in their cars, I reckon. And uh, what about the town hall bombing? You think they're up to that? <laughs> no way. I mean, they'd be up to sticking a gun in your face or something like that, but. Nothing as big as that. Beautiful, bloody beautiful. Sweated like buggery all over the rug. Move it out a couple of feet. G residue over about a quarter of a metre. <sighs> Lucky he didn't smoke in bed, he'd have blown himself through the ceiling. No comment. You are not committing yourself to anything by stating your name. No comment. 
Are you saying that your name is not Dennis John Hanrahan? No comment. Are you saying that your name is Patrick Arthur Miller? Of course I'm bloody not. Then if you're not Patrick Arthur Miller, who are you? There is no point in lying about your name. I'm not lying, I'm just saying nothing. Fine, that's your right. All we need to do is to establish who it is that's refusing to discuss this with us. Dennis Hanrahan. Is your address 19 Wilton Street, Hampton? Yeah. What's your occupation? I haven't got one. I haven't had one since last year. I would have, but I didn't finish my apprenticeship. I feel like throwing up. I feel as crook as a dog, sir. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's concussed. Could be a fracture there. He's a hospital job. Oh, shit. Sorry, but his welfare comes first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how is he? Ambulance time. We're losing the little shit. What? Kidding? Bullshit. He's all right. Not according to the doctor. Oh, come on. He's bloody having us on. He'd be safely tucked up in the hospital. You can have him when he's better. He's still breathing. That's good enough for me. Yeah, but it might not be good enough for the jury. Anything else? Not yet. Any of this out of your possession for any reason? No, dear. Okay. No one is to physically touch it or to take it out of the bags and is to be handed back to me by Carol. Nobody else. Yeah, understood. I just don't like letting it go before it's been tested. Neither do I. That's why I'll be holding on to it with my life. Have a lovely day. What is this? A few things we'd like to discuss with you. Inspector Brennan's going to indicate certain items to you. Do you recognize this place? Looks like my backyard. It is. This is part of the fence from your backyard, Mr. Miller. As you can see, it's been cleanly cut and is in fact 30 centimeters shorter than any other post in the yard. I don't know. Could be. Maybe if it is, so what? Do you recognize this item, Mr. Miller? What is it? Leftover from someone's barbecue. It's the top of your fence post, recovered by forensic at the scene of the bombing. How do you account for that, Mr. Miller? I can't. I don't know anything about it. It's not the only item from your premises to turn up at the bomb scene. Believe it. I don't believe those two did something like that. Come on, Mr. Miller, you live in the same house. You must know something. They built the bloody thing there. Bullshit. We have a lot more evidence to put to you, Mr. Miller. We believe it connects you with the bombing. I tried to stop them. Tried to talk them out of it. He said they'd do me too. I can't remember who paid for the van. Yeah, Nick, probably. Why was it in Mr. Miller's name? I don't know. It was his house. Was that in his name as well? Yeah, what's it matter? I'm just trying to establish who paid the bills. Well, Pat. Well, he took care of stuff like that. So Mr. Miller took care of things? You know, he's the eldest. So who was the person more or less in charge? I told you, Pat. Senior Detective Colin Tui left the room. Senior Detective Megan Edwards replaced him as the observer. I'm now going to ask you some questions in relation to another matter. I'm showing you the photograph of a young woman identified as Kelly Morgan. Is that correct? Yeah. 
Have you ever seen this woman before? Don't think so. Are you sure of this? No, I've never seen her before. Mr. Miller says you have. Mr. Miller says that this is the woman that you and Nick brought home on the 22nd of July. He wouldn't have told you that. I've never seen her before. According to Mr. Miller, you abducted Kelly Morgan from under the Richmond Street overpass at Windsor on the same night. He wouldn't tell you that. He I'm said a lot more than that, Dennis. Mr. Miller says that he witnessed you and Nick Panopoulos assault and rape Kelly Morgan on the night of the 22nd of July at 19 Wilton Street, Hampton. He didn't tell you that. He'd never do that. Yeah, it's all over, Lane. You can breathe easy. They've been charged and they won't be getting bail. <laughs> she liked it, did she? Great. Listen, the trial's not going to be for about another six months, so we're going to need to talk to you about the Witness Protection Program. Yeah, so we thought we might take you and Mandy out for dinner. <laughs> Just disappointed we don't belt it out of them. Oh, it does have a certain merit. Save time. And he left me in the door five minutes. Oh, shit, mate. We had nothing until we sat on my couch. Don't for that one. Don't for that one. We just didn't love to do it. You get your bloody phone there. Hey, look, you tell them we're not here. <laughs> Major crime, we're not here. If you haven't got the event by now, you'll get it. Oh, shit. Thanks, Susie. Oi! DC's on his way down. Get those bloody cans out of sight. I'll head him off. <laughs> Inspector, bloody sir. good job. Excellent result. Thank you, sir. They did a good job. The Chief's on his way down to give you a proper rap, but I just wanted you to know you've made every copper on the forces day today. Thanks, I can just Thank have you. a quick word with you. Sir. Some bastard's having us I meant what I just said, Jock. I'd like you to know that. I do, sir. I hope so. Been a torrid investigation, more than the usual quota of complaints. Out of my hands, I'm afraid. IID want to see you first thing Monday morning. I see, sir. Ready to go, Walt? <laughs> what the hell is that about? Oh, the usual. Well done, and the toe cutters will see you Monday morning. <laughs> well, that's it. The job's fucked. <laughs> 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 Anyone who can't tap this talks Spanish as a book, do it.